In this module, we will understand the concept of free radical rearrangements, analyze octo oxidation of using free radicals, understand the role of free radicals in auto reduction, know about some examples of auto oxidation and auto reduction. In the previous modules, we have focused our attention on to structure, generation and stability of free radicals. We have considered type of free radical reactions and discussed about the addition and substitution reactions, emphasizing on detailed study of allylic and benzylic substitutions. In this module, we will continue our study on types of free radical reactions. Before we study more type of reactions, the rearrangements are also feature of free radicals, just like carbocations. Here we shall understand the free radical rearrangement in detail. After this, we shall discuss the auto oxidation and auto reductions involving free radicals. Air induced of organic and inorganic systems which is actually a result of direct or indirect action of molecular oxygen which is O2 or dioxygen usually goes through free radical processes and is commonly described as auto oxidation. In wider sense an oxidation process which goes through peroxy radicals irrespective of their origin is also referred to as an oxidation pro auto oxidation process. Let us discuss all these in detail. Free radical rearrangement. You already know that 1 2 hydride shift or the alkyl shift is very common in carbocation intermediates. But such a hydrogen atom shift in free radical intermediates is not observed. Free radicals are known to rearrange in certain circumstances. These are less common than the cation rearrangements. Unlike the carbocation rearrangement, in radical rearrangements, the migrating groups are those that accommodate electrons in a pi system, that is, vinyl, aryl carbonyl etc or atoms that can expand their valence shell. Normally radicals react in one of the three ways by abstraction of an atom from a saturated bond, adding to an unsaturated bond, react with other radicals leading to combination or disproportionation. A fourth class of reaction is rearrangement. Rearrangements of free radicals are seldom observed, that is, such reactions are very rare. Free radical rearrangements are observed in specific structural type. Some examples of free radical arrangement are as shown here. We can see that when a free radical adds, reacts with the given carbonyl system, a carbon radical is produced at C double bond O wherein then a further rearrangement takes place leading to the lo loss of carbon monoxide and formation of a primary carbon radical and also a hydrogen radical is released along with. This primary radical further rearranges to form a tertiary radical which is supposedly as we have earlier told is more stable than the primary radical. The hydrogen radical then combines with this tertiary radical leading to the formation of a hydrocarbon. This is how the reaction proceeds and the products are formed. In this example we see a formation, formation of a primary radical. This primary radical undergoes a rearrangement finally leading to the formation of a tertiary radical through a cyclic intermediate. The cyclic intermediate is formed which further undergoes the bond breaking leading to the formation of a tertiary radical 
which in turn then reacts with the hydrogen radical forming a new alkene system. The next example also shows the rearrangement of the two products leading to the formation of a cyclohexene in 47% and the methyl cyclopentene as 12% of the product. The cyclohexene could be formed only by the cyclic expansion of the cyclopentene ring by the radical mechanism. Fragmentation with aryl migration. A mixture of rearranged and the non-rearranged products is obtained. For example, in the reaction, abstraction of an aldehyde hydrogen gives a carbonyl radical, which in turn expels the carbon monoxide. This primary alkyl radical will in turn undergo a phenyl migration, forming a tertiary radical, which then abstracts a hydrogen from an hydrocarbon forming a new product. Groups that have tendency to migrate in free radical intermediate are phenyl, vinyl, acyl and other unsaturated substituents. Saturated groups have very little migratory aptitude. Interestingly, while neopentyl cation rearranges to tertiary amyl cation, neopentyl radical does not rearrange as can be seen here in the given structures. A carbocation tends to undergo a rearrangement giving a tertiary carbocation forming a new product. However, no such rearrangement can be seen with the primary to tertiary radical. In addition to the features mentioned above, a free radical can rearrange in the direction where there is a relief of strain in the strained cyclic system. For example, here in the given structure, once the radical is formed at the sp2 hybridized carbon atom and when it reacts with the trichlorocarbon radical, it undergoes the rearrangement leading to the formation of a new radical at the ortho position and henceforth the new product is formed. Halogen migration. All halogens with the exception of fluorine can migrate. The radical addition of HBr to 333 trichloropropene involves the migration of a chlorine atom as can be seen in the given reaction. The mechanism involves Regio specific addition of the bromine radical to the double bond. RO radical combines with HBr leading to the formation of bromo radical. Reaction can also be seen wherein the bromine radical addition takes place on the cyclopropane ring with the decarboxylation taking place along with it. Auto oxidation. Slow oxidation of organic substances by atmospheric oxygen is termed as auto oxidation. The oxygen molecule frequently behaves as a bi radical, and it is therefore not surprising that this process involves a radical mechanism. The most thoroughly studied example of auto oxidation is the conversion of benzaldehyde to benzoic acid. Many organic and inorganic substances react with oxygen of the atmosphere and deteriorate slowly. This process is spoken of as auto oxidation. For simplicity, the structure of oxygen molecule is written as O double bond O. Application of the modern bonding theories help us to formulate the ground state of structure of oxygen as triplet state like as shown in the given structure. A singlet state would consist of 4 electrons on one of the oxygens with the 6 electrons on the other and one being shared by the two oxygen atoms. However, in the triplet state, both the oxygens carry one electron each. The term triplet and singlet comes from the spectroscopic notations. This structure indicates one electron on each oxygen have a parallel spin. 
the triplet oxygen behaves like a di radical and we can expect a radical like reactivity when it reacts with the organic molecules. We can now define auto oxidation as a process by which molecular oxygen oxidizes organic molecules by free radical chain mechanism. The reaction is apparently initiated by the appearance of stray radicals produced for example sunlight thereafter a chain process operates. Mechanism of auto oxidation Auto oxidation is a free radical chain process. Such reactions can be divided into three stages chain initiation, propagation and finally the termination. In the initiation process some even causes free radicals to be formed. For example free radicals can be produced purposefully by the decomposition of radical initiators such as benzoyl peroxide. In some cases initiation process by the occurs by the not well known understood but is thought to be spontaneous reaction of oxygen with material with a readily abstractable hydrogen. Destructive auto oxidation processes also get initiated by pollutants such as those in smog. Once the free radicals are formed they react in chain to convert the material to hydroperoxide. The chain is ended by termination reactions in which free radicals collide and combine their odd electrons to form the new bonds. Here the depiction of chain initiation, chain propagation and chain termination helps to understand the given concept. Auto oxidation of unsaturated compounds such as cyclohexene follow a similar course and results in the formation of hydroperoxides. In this case the resonance stabilization of the allylic radical greatly facilitates the removal of a hydrogen. A few selected examples of the compounds which are prone to auto oxidation are alkanes and alkenes undergo auto oxidation to form hydroperoxides. Following is a typical of olefinic compounds to form hydroperoxides and which further react to give the complicated products. Polyunsaturated fatty acids present in the vegetable oils, fats and cell membrane lipids deteriorate in this manner. Everywhere we can observe that there is a formation of a hydroperoxides. Aryl aldehydes also undergo ready auto oxidation and give carboxylic acids. For example, benzaldehyde gives benzoic acid on standing in air. Benzaldehyde loses a hydrogen radical forming a carbon radical at the carbonyl position where the oxygen attaches leading to the formation of hydroperoxide which in turn reacts with the another molecule of benzaldehyde to form the benzoic acid. Auto oxidation of olefins leading to polymeric that is hardening of paints, varnishes etc. can be depicted as follows. It is the alkene system which reacts with the radicals leading to the formation of a polymer. Manufacture of phenol and acetone from cumin involves the formation of hydroperoxide via free radical oxidation. The main source of cumin is American petroleum. The isopropyl benzene reacts with oxygen, slow auto oxidation taking place leading to the formation of hydroperoxide, then the acidification, hydrolysis leading to the formation of a phenol. Ethers readily undergo auto oxidation to give rise to hydroperoxides. These hydroperoxides are unstable, may even explode on heating. It is very essential to remove them from ethers, diethyl ether, tetrahydrofuran, before using them as solvents for the reaction. Antioxidants Auto oxidation is a slow reaction. 
catalyzed by the usual initiators including light and the retarded by inhibitors. Auto oxidation is a process that has practical consequences. The main cause of food spoilage are microbial, mold bacteria and auto oxidation. The deterioration of the foods, cooking oils, paints, rubber etc can be retarded by the use of antioxidants. Two main types of the antioxidants are natural and synthetic. Some well known natural antioxidants are ascorbic acid which is vitamin C, glutathione which is alpha peptide, tocopherols which are phenolic lipids, vitamin E and beta carotene. Our human body uses these compounds as defense against toxic hydroperoxides either preventing the formation of these hydroperoxides or converts the toxic peroxides to the harmless products. The synthetic antioxidants that food processors commonly use are butylated hydroxyl anisole BHA and butylated hydroxytoluene BHT and the esters of gallic acid example propyl gallate radical reductions a radical reduction reaction generally involves the addition of a hydrogen to a pi bond via free radicals the radical reductions include dissolution of metal in solvents like alcohol and liquid ammonia to generate electrons hence these are called as dissolving metal reactions However, since the introduction of metal hydrides, dissolving metal reactions are not used very often anymore. For example, reduction of carbonyl group which is aldehyde ketones or esters with sodium in alcohol. The mechanism involves the transfer of electron from metal to the carbonyl group forming a radical anion. A hydrogen from the alcohol solvent protonates the radical anion producing a neutral radical intermediate. Then an electron from another metal atom transfers to the neutral radical intermediate to form a strongly basic carbon ion which takes up a proton and forms the alcohol as a product. This is all depicted here in the given mechanism. The dissolving metal reduction reactions do not reduce the isolated double bonds but it does reduce the triple bonds, conjugated double bonds and conjugated carbonyl systems. An alkyne forms a trans alkene. The double bond is reduced in a conjugated carbonyl system. A conjugated diene by a radical 1,4 addition reaction forms an alkene. For example, reduction of esters with sodium in ethanol. It leads to the formation of heptanol and ethanol. Reduction of double bond conjugated to the carbonyl group by lithium in ethanol and ammonia leading to the reduced product. To summarize, although 1,2 hydride and alkyl shift is very common in carbocation intermediates, but such hydrogen atom shift in the free radical intermediate is not observed. Groups that have tendency to migrate in free radical intermediates are phenyl, vinyl, acyl and other unsaturated substituents. Saturated groups have very little migratory aptitude. Slow oxidation of organic substances by atmospheric oxygen is termed as auto oxidation. The oxygen molecule frequently behaves as a biradical and it is therefore not surprising that this process involves a radical mechanism. Some well-known natural antioxidants are ascorbic acid, glutathione, tocopherols, vitamin E and beta carotene. Our human body uses these compounds as defense against toxic hydroperoxide 
either by preventing the formation of these hydroperoxides or converts the toxic peroxides to the harmless products. The radical reductions include the dissolution of metal in solvents like alcohols, liquid ammonia to generate the electrons. These are hence called as dissolving metal reactions. However, since the introduction of metal hydrides, dissolving metal reactions are not very commonly used.